to the third generation, that is not that different from second generation, uh, second generation of medicine, can be exemplified by Cypred. And particularly, they, may, they are very similar in the ID as in the PhDR, but they're using better methods to generate multiple sequence alignments, like Cyblast, or nowadays even Jackhammer or HF spread. So the idea is very similar and use either a support back machine or a neural network. Nowadays you use deep learning methods and you reach accuracy close to 80%. So here. Um, and these are also methods that are specifically developed to, to do other types of predictions like transmembrane helix predictions we talked about another day, cold core prediction, term prediction, disorder prediction, etc. So in summary, what is the use of echidna structure? Well, by itself is probably not very useful. However, it is really important as a part of other prediction methods. So it's really important to, uh, as a part of even for model detection, but also for uh, ab initial structure prediction, for docking, etc., etc. So it's really useful for many of these areas, more than maybe prediction by itself. <laughs>